who needs motivation? Who needs motivation right now? Uh, I want to do this video because there's a lot of people out there, um, they feel lonely and think that, well, if I have a girlfriend or boyfriend, you know, I'll be happy. Uh, first of all, no, having a girlfriend or boyfriend is not going to give you fulfillment in life. It's not going to give you something, happiness. The only happiness that you have is within yourself. Um, and a relationship with Jesus Christ will help out with that too. But mostly just loving yourself, being uh, going after your purpose in life, not worrying about whether that person likes you or not. Because you're just going to feel sad. You're just going to feel more sad about yourself. And... Um, the whole, your whole goal in life is to go after your dreams, not worry about what other people think about you. And just because you see everybody else having a girlfriend or boyfriend, you know, they look all happy and stuff. You know, most of the time, some of them are just not happy, really, you know, just because they, they you know, have this girlfriend and their boyfriend in their life. They're going out with each other. They're hanging out with each other, talking all the time. But behind the scenes, they're probably, you know, arguing with each other. and They're probably just not happy, fulfilled in their life. And one, because they rush into a relationship too early. They never try to, like, um, get to know themselves first before they get into a relationship or grasp their purpose in life, you know. And then they end up pregnant with the person now they're stuck with it. And they have a lot of kids with each other. And all your opportunity to grow in life and whatever purpose that God put to Jesus Christ put in your heart all of a sudden you know now you now all you focus on the kids now it's time to get an extra uh, extra job uh, get extra pay all that money has to go for the kids because now you never waited now all of a sudden you just have to focus on the kids and uh, make uh, your girlfriend or boyfriend happy <laughs> You know, just like the Bible says, once you, if you're not focused on the Lord, and you always, and you fo once you get a girlfriend or boyfriend or get a wife or a husband, all the focus is just going to be on, on them, and uh, that's you know that's going to be a problem because you're not going to be happy. You know, there's so much you can do in life. You know, there's nice places you can go to. There's nice. Um, you know, nice experience you can have in life. You know, you know why can't why not go to Europe? Why not go to a nice you know yeah? Why not have you know try to try to be rich? You know, why not try to um, you know go to an event you always afraid of doing? Why not try to you know practice a new skill that's challenging for you? You know, if you're always you know playing the video game all the time and you're not trying to make your life fulfilling. It's, not, it's gonna be so boring. <laughs> I've been there, you know, playing the video game all day. It's not, it's not, it's not fulfilling. It's not challenging. You know, once you pass all the levels, what's left? What's left? Start over again and play it again. That's boring. Like that's just like no fulfillment, fulfillment at all. And you just have to look at life like this. You know, you can't, you can't just expect good things to happen to you. You have to grow. You have to grow, work on yourself, and make yourself a better person through uh, life and try to challenge yourself, pass the tests, you know, build your character, you know, and uh, it's going to be a, it's going to be a long process sometimes, you know, for me, I think I am a chosen one by Jesus Christ, he wants me to be alone most of the times, so, you know, to focus on me, so that way I can start a channel like this and start helping people. Nobody likes them, and truth is, there's a lot of people that like you. And it's just, just because this, you, you, just because you don't have a girlfriend or boyfriend, does not mean that you can be fulfilled by having somebody. The secret of attracting, uh, of attracting the opposite sex is loving yourself, having self-confidence in yourself, doing something that you love to do. You know. That's, that's the best thing, you know, you have to have a good vision about yourself, have a good vision about yourself, visualize yourself as being this great person that God created you to be, you know.
know, stop putting down, putting yourself down because you're not getting um, <clears throat> everything you want in life. It takes time to get what you want in life, you know, prayer, use an affirmation, it takes time, you know, you have to go through a lot of things before you can get those things. And um, this long journey that we all try to go through, you know, we should be helping each other out, not trying to tear each other down, we're trying to say I'm better than you and all that stuff, be humble, you know, because if you don't know what that person's going through. And uh, through all my sufferings, I, I have um, learned that the way of life is to, to, to learn from suffering and to make another person better for my suffering. And um, like I said, you know, the other thing about having a boyfriend and girlfriend, um, you know, they're not going out to pur their purpose in life, you know, they're just going to keep trying to get another job, another job, another job, instead of focusing on, well, how can I make more money? How can I make myself a value? You know, you know how like uh, LeBron James and then you know, uh, basketball, how valuable he is? Well, because he worked hard, you know, any team would love to have him. That's how you got to be. So you make more money by making yourself better, you know, read books, learn from the best, you make yourself better. So that way your income can grow because people would love to call you and ask you how how do this how can I do that um, that's how you can grow in life that's how you can be more fulfilled in life the more you do that the more you feel confident in yourself you know the more you start loving yourself you know if you're trying to make your body better read a read a diet book you know read a uh, nutrition book read a you know a book on fitness you know start making steps and taking care of your body. Start making, taking steps to making your, your mind better, you know, to improve your speech, you know, learn from the best, you know, because people be in this little bubble and they don't try to make themselves better. They don't try to get out the, the comfort zone that they are and they think they're entitled to have whatever they want in life. Look, God made it an even playing field for everybody. You know, it's up to you if you want to read that book. It's up to you if you want to go to the gym. It's up to you if you want to make your life great. It's all has something to do with you. It has nothing, you know, nobody's entitled to have all the stuff they need in life. You know, you have to work hard. Don't look at the guy who's in the big giant building and say, you know, being envious because he has all the money and stuff. Listen, you can be a millionaire uh, under the radar without anybody knowing who you are. You don't need to, uh, don't worry about that guy who has the big money and all that stuff. You worry about you. You worry about what you need to do in life. And getting back to the girlfriend and boyfriend thing, um, you will find somebody who just have to work on yourself. The key to finding a girlfriend and boyfriend is loving yourself first. Uh, don't, you know, I want, I want everybody to know that. You have to love yourself first because then you won't settle for less. You want somebody with high value. You want somebody like her or him that, that has dreams too, that they are doing something with their life. And don't worry about the, the girl or boy is not looking at you, like, you know, talking to you anymore because they're not trying to see what kind of person you are. Just move on. Um, you have to look at yourself as a high value person. That person doesn't see it. Oh well, they're going around talking to all these other boys and other guys, and they don't talk to you. Don't worry about it. You know, someone out there is going to look at you and say, "This guy is a high value. This girl is a high value. I want to get to know her." You want something like that that actually sees that, that actually wants that, that wants to talk to you because you know you're not being like everybody else. You're not talking like everybody else. You're not, you know, wasting your time like everybody else. Everybody else is just trying to get by in life and. You know, talk about crappy stuff all the time. <laughs> you know, <laughs> so sometimes what people talk about has nothing to do. Uh, well, uh, sometimes when they talk about stuff, uh, I'm not saying every conversation that people have is bad, but sometimes they talk crappy about the job, they gossip about people, and um, they'll do nothing about trying to change or find a better job or trying to make their life better. Uh, first thing you need to do is uh, cut that crap out, stop gossiping, just cut that crap out and uh, complain about your life and do something about it to make, yourself, make your life better. That's the first thing you need to do because your words, the more 
uh, complaining you do, the more it will manifest in your life. So stop complaining about because you don't have this, you don't have that, and start getting up in the morning and start doing something about it. Because um, you're not going to get that great body by talking about it. You're not going to get that great job by talking about it. The only way you can get that that big dream in your heart to happen is taking action. You know, just don't give up and just keep trying. You will find somebody. I, I promise you, you will find somebody. You, if you keep yourself busy, you keep yourself uh, doing things in life, go out with your friends, you make yourself, make yourself better, trying to make your income grow so you don't have to rely on an FI job to give you the income. You know, your life is going to be so great. You know, right now, you know, my life is just getting started. It's just getting started. I'm not there yet. Pretty soon, I know this is gonna happen. Pretty soon, I'm gonna do videos of me in the beach. You know, you're gonna see me in a boat somewhere. Uh, you're gonna see me uh, in the gym with all this great uh, fitness uh, celebrities or whatever. You're gonna see me training people. Uh, my dream is to like, you know, one of them is to train celebrities. You know, uh, you know, just. It just takes time. It's gonna happen. I wrote it down. It's gonna happen. I just have to wait. Build my character up. Build myself up. Keep working hard. Keep trying to make myself better. And um, just make you make make yourself better. Don't worry about what other people think. Don't worry about the girl that's giving you attention. Just keep trying to focus on yourself. And uh, another thing, I don't know if the girls watching this. I want to give a shout out to my friend. If she ever watched this video, her name is Erin. Uh, she gave me this T-shirt. Uh, her last day was a few days ago. I'll miss her. You know, she was my best friend. I'll, you know, I'll miss you, Erin. You know, she was a good friend. Even though we never hanged out uh, like that anymore, I still love you. I still care about you. You're a good friend to me, and uh, I would like for her to get saved too. But you know. Just uh, leave it off on a good note here. Uh, like I said, don't worry about girls. Don't worry about the opposite sex. Don't worry about the ways. Focus on you. Focus on your dream job. Focus on making yourself better. And I swear to you, your life is going to be great. All right? Keep progressing. You